Hey everybody, David Griggs here, Senior Product Manager for AWS Elemental. And today, we're gonna to talk about how to syndicate content using AWS Elemental Media Connect. Let's start by reminding ourselves of what a great B2B distribution use case looks like in Media Connect. Here you can see we've got two data centers and we've got two Media Connect flows running in different regions, sending content from one part of the world to another. And this is a really great model for what I would call internal distribution. In other words, you own both data centers and you want to get the content from one location to the other. But what if you want to work with third parties? What if you want to work with partners? Well, this is where a great feature in AWS Elemental Media Connect comes into play, and we call that feature entitlements. Entitlements allow you to simply and easily and securely share content with third parties and your customers. And it works like this. You create your Media Connect flow. And remember, a Media Connect flow is a one in, many out topology. In other words, it has a signal coming in and it can create multiple copies of it on the other side. So it has a name, you can call it something. It's a linear channel or it's a live uh, event, for example, but you can call it something. And so when you want to syndicate that content, when you want to make that content available to your partners, you simply log into your AWS console or of course the API and you create an entitlement against that particular Media Connect flow that represents that piece of content that you want to syndicate. And the only thing you need from your partner is their AWS account ID. And so it goes like this. You create an entitlement that says, this AWS account ID has the right to subscribe to the content that's represented by this flow. And then at a later stage, that subscriber will log into their own AWS account and they will create their own flow in the same region as your flow. It's kind of like, me, like a meet me concept that we're so familiar with in these syndication and, distribu and partner distribution workflows. Once they create that flow in their account, and we'll take a look at how we do that with a demo in a second here, they'll actually see that entitlement. They, they can click on it, select it. At that point, the Media Connect service will connect the originating flow, your flow, with the subscriber's flow, and then they're able to then build their own workflow on top of that, whether that's a distribution workflow, moving content closer to an on-prem location, or potentially building up their own digital playout or digital transformation OTT workflow. So there's some really cool things that we want to point out about this. First of all, let's look at how easy it is to, to build up an entitlement workflow using AWS Elemental Media Connect. Here you can see we have the flow details page, and this is the owner's flow. This is the flow that represents, let's say it's a 24 seven linear channel, and we wanna syndicate that to a partner of ours. So what we do is we click on the grant entitlement button right there in the console. Once you've done that, you'll see this little pop-up appears, and there you can give it a name. So you might wanna give that something that makes sense to you as a content owner. You then put in the all important AWS account ID of the subscriber, and finally, a description. Again, that's really for you to help you notarize and make sense of what this entitlement means from your perspective. Optionally, of course, you can include encryp uh, uh, encryption credentials so that you can make sure that this entitlement handover is secure and encrypted. At a later stage, the subscriber, maybe the next day, maybe two weeks later, logs into their own account and when they, and when they create their flow, they have two fundamental choices, standard and, and what we call an entitled, uh, entitled source. When they choose that entitled source, they will actually see that list, that entitlement will appear, the one that was granted to them in that region. They'll just simply select it. You can see that it's highlighted here in the, by this red box, and that's it. We then connect the dots, and, we, and, and the subscriber is then free to build up their own connected workflow. And so there's a couple of things I want to say about this workflow because I think it's really important. Number one, it's that whole temporal decouplement. The, the, the owner of the content doesn't need to know about IP addresses or ports or whether the subscriber is even ready to receive the content. They just create that entitlement with the subscriber's AWS account ID. So that's that great kind of de decouplement there in terms of who's ready and what's the infrastructure that's receiving the content. The second, and I think just as important, 
uh, point that's worth making, is that there's this very important boundary that's drawn around the resources that are involved in this particular operation. So you can see here in this orange box, that represents the originators, the content owners infrastructure, and in the green box, that represents the subscribers infrastructure and responsibility. And that box is really just the AWS account boundary. And so that clearly defines who's responsible for what infrastructure, and just as importantly, who's paying for it as well. So that was my overview of how to use entitlements to share content with your partners. If you have any questions, my email address is right there on the screen. I'd love to hear from you, and I'm more than happy to take a deeper dive and go through anything that uh, you'd like to talk about. See you soon, and uh, thanks for watching.